and welcome to this video on making Venn diagrams. As with many data visualizations, there's a lot of software options available to make these in, but we're going to be using Google Slides today. Before we go making an example though, let's have a look at this basic outline. Okay, so this Venn diagram just has two circles in it, A and B, which you can show the unique features for each of those things and how they overlap, so the common features of A and B and that kind of football shape in the middle. So let's say for an example, A could be alligator, B could be bluebirds. Characteristics unique to alligators are that they are quadrupeds and reptiles. Bluebirds are bipedal and can fly, so that would be in its own circle in circle B, but they both like eggs, so that could go in the center. Here's another little sketch of a Venn diagram, which gets a little bit more complicated, and we've only just added one more circle. So we've got A, B, and C. Now, even in this example, when we don't have anything but just letters, we can see that it gets pretty tricky to add any information there. Okay, now that we've looked at a couple of examples and explained how Venn diagrams work, let's go over to Google Slides and make one. Okay, so here we are in Google Slides, and we're going to be making a Venn diagram that is going to compare the features of birds and bats. So we're going to have two circles, and what we're going to do is go up to Insert, and you'll notice, and you've seen on this channel before, maybe if you go to Diagram, then there's some preset options, and if you go down to Relationship, then they do have a version of a Venn diagram that we can see here, but it doesn't show that overlapping space. It just has two circles here, but that's not really what we want, so we're going to delete that and make our own. But we are still going to go to Insert and to Shape, and right here one of the first ones is an oval where I can actually draw a circle and if you want to draw a perfect circle then a little help doing that is if you press and hold shift while you're drawing it then it'll make a, an actual circle instead of an oval for you. So we'll do it about that big and we want two of them so let's do control D and that will duplicate it and we'll drag it off to the side here and these have some fill to them, a gray fill, and we don't really want to see that. So let's highlight both of them and tell that we don't want to fill. So let's right up here at the top and choose transparent. Okay, that way we can see our lines and the shape that the circles make when they overlap there in the middle. Right, now that we have the circles, we're going to need to insert some text boxes so that we can add in our text for birds and bats. So again, under insert, text box, click here, and we'll type it really quick. Birds, they lay eggs, beaks, and feathers. And let's put these in as bullet points so that it looks a little neater. And we'll do bold for birds. Now we want something similar for bats, so let's again make a duplicate of that by Control D over here. And then we'll just kind of update it here. We'll do, we'll do bats. Instead of eggs, they have live young. Instead of beaks, they have teeth. And fur instead of feathers. Okay, so that's coming along. Let's do another text box for the middle here, and that'll have our shared features. So both birds and bats have two legs, they're both vertebrates, and they're both warm-blooded. Let's fix the spelling mistake. Okay, make the box a little smaller, and let's try to put it there in the center. I think that we're going to need to move the circles a little bit. So let's highlight the text and the circle, kind of scoot them a little closer together, maybe about there. So as you can see, there's a little bit of rearranging that you have to do here, but we can make it look pretty nice. Move these text boxes around. It tries to help you out as well when you're moving them. It's got a little guideline there that shows up if you get kind of close to the alignment of the other boxes. Oh, and let's put the header on here too. Both left that off. That's why it looked a little weird. And we'll do bullet points. Let's fix that. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. There's always more tweaking that you can do to these kinds of things. If you want to change the font or the colors or something like that, that's pretty easy to do. Um, and you can add some shading to the background as well, but that's the basic Venn diagram for you in Google Slides. Okay, that wraps up this video. We've covered the basics on making Venn diagrams in Google Slides. Depending on which version of slides you're using, some of the features I showed might be in different places or not available, but hopefully things should be about the same. If you have any questions, please contact the library, and thanks for watching!